fifth grade, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our history section. We are still in 14.3. We are doing pages 246 to 250 today, and we are going over Germany, okay? So I'm gonna go through blue, then red, and then green, just so that you know why I'm color coordinated here. And let's go ahead and go through uh, Germany. Now, um, let's say Germany's capital now is the capital is Berlin city. Okay. So now back when we uh, let off on some of our other countries, we were talking about the Protestant reformation. Okay. Now Germany did have a big part in the Protestant reformation, especially because Martin Luther began the Protestant reformation in Germany. So Germany used, uh, had a nickname and they were called the Land of Reformation, okay? Now, after the, after the Reformation and um, the Protestant and the Catholic Church um, uh, forces in Germany started fighting and there was uh, Frederick the Great um, as well as uh, Persia, which was the uh, uh, the first Kaiser, and he was Kaiser uh, Wilhelm the first, and his grandson Kaiser Wilhelm the second, actually started pushing Germany in a direction in which they wanted to grow the German Empire. Okay, so now they started trying to go into other European countries. Well, now because of the humanist idea of the Enlightenment uh, time and the also French Revolution, Europe became really tense at that time and eventually World War I broke out. Okay, now it broke out in 1914 and Europe was separated into two groups. Okay, and those two groups were the Allies and the central powers, okay? Now the allies made, were made up of Great Britain, Russia, France, Japan, and eventually the United States. And then the central powers were Germany and some of its other uh, partners, okay? Now, th basically almost the whole world started getting involved in World War I, and eventually Germany actually lost, and much of the territory that Germany had conquered in that time was taken away. Now, Germany had to pay for the debt of the war, and so it actually became a pretty broken country and was not very wealthy at the time, okay? This ended up um, starting in the 1930s where another change in power happened, okay? And that's when the National Socialist a party was headed up by Adolf Hitler and he became powerful in Germany. Now Adolf Hitler was basically um, telling the Germans that he could make them a rich nation again and it became he became a popular man. So because of that he ended up becoming a chancellor which was a high official in um, the German government and he ended up overthrowing their constitution and basically getting um, some of the people to fight with him and against their own people, okay? And that was, he wanted Germany to have one political party and that was called the Nazi party. Okay, so that's where I have. Then um, what happened because of, the, of that was that he um, basically told the people that the government was more important Okay, and that there was one inferior race and that the German people, people, they were so eager to gain power within the world that they started following his beliefs and what ended up blindly following his beliefs and what ended up happening was he became one of the cruelest dictators in history. Adolf Hitler, okay? And so that's when World War II broke out, okay? Because um, of his desire to want to conquer and the way he was mistreating not only the people in his own nation, but also trying to the surrounding areas. So we have World War II broke out because of Adolf Hitler's desire to conquer. And Adolf Hitler was the leader of the National Socialist Party, which was also called the Nazi Party, okay? 
Now, because of World War II, we had broken up into two groups again, okay, that were fighting in this war. And those two groups were now called the Axis and the Allies, okay? Now, the Axis were the Germ was Germany, Japan, and Italy. And then the Allies were Great Britain, uh, the Soviet Union, China, and the United States, okay? Now, this ended up, war ended up taking over on three different countries. That was Africa, Asia, and Europe. And let me tell you, this became a horrific uh, war that most of the world was pretty much involved with in again, okay? Now, eventually... Um, the Allies, which was part of us, the United States, okay? We ended up um, winning the war, but there was so much bloodshed um, through this war, and, so, and, and Germany and Europe was very torn up because of this, including Adolf Hitler ended up killing six million Jews that lived in Europe and in that area, okay? He rounded them up. So now you've heard about the Holocaust and where he was pulling in, um, if you haven't already, um, he was pulling in Jews and he was killing them because he felt like there was a certain race of people that was better than others and he wanted to wean the world from the race that was not appropriate and so what he thought was the strong race so that's where he was killing a lot of the jews in in that area okay um it was a horrific time um not only for the jewish pe people but really for the world and us getting involved in and in that dictatorship of what he was doing to the people was just awful and um I know that in, in later times in his in your history subjects going forward, you're going to learn a lot more about uh, that time with Adolf Hitler. Um, but eventually, uh, we did win the war and we did take over. And because of that, the war after World War II, Germany was actually split into two different groups. Now, one um, in two different areas, and it was West Germany and East Germany, okay? Now, West Germany became um, uh, under the rule of, like, the United States. Um, who else was it? The United States and... Uh, Great Britain and France took over that part of the government and helped to rebuild Germany to be a successful nation. Now, East Germany was put under the Soviet Union, and they promised the same thing for the East part of Germany. However, they actually got East Germany to conform over to communism, okay, instead of being a free nation. And what that led to was people trying to flee from East Germany into West Germany. And the communist, uh, the Soviet Union and the communists there didn't like that. So they actually built the Berlin Wall in 1961, uh, uh, which split the country because they didn't want com uh, their communist people or any people that didn't want to be part of communists to go over to West Germany. So they put up this wall to separate it and it was called the, the uh, it was actually um, called the wall of shame, okay, because they were shaming people for wanting to go onto the other area to be part of a free nation instead of a communist nation, okay? So uh, then um, in the late um, 19, uh, 1989, millions of the Germans on the east side decided they'd had enough of the communist part and they stood up against the government and thinking that troops and everything would come in and um, cause, you know, um, havoc on them for them causing havoc upon uh, the city. Um, they actually didn't. And so a lot of the people had fled then into uh, West Germany and the wall was actually uh, destroyed and brought down because East Germany didn't want to lose 
too many of the people because obviously they wouldn't be prosperous. And so they ended up um, saying that they would tear down the wall if West Germany would give them money to let these the wall come down and the people be able to go back and forth between the two areas. And their minds, actually, they were thinking eventually they would try to overthrow that whole area again, but it didn't end up happening. And so now Germany is uh, still enjoying its freedom and they do have its capital city in Berlin, um, but when they had uh, divided, Berlin actually had divided. Uh, at one point, it was not fully the capital city um, of both sides, um, East and West Germany, um, but now it is our cap capital city of Germany. Okay, so... Um, Another interesting thing about Germany, and I didn't actually put this up here, was that the Black Forest um, is a forest in Germany. And the neat part about it is it is actually um, what or, or was the um, idea or the, um, what is it called? It was like the imagine uh, imaginary home. Um, it, the Black Forest was an idea for some of our children's stories and the forest that our children's stories have come out of, which was uh, the Hansel and Gretel, Little Red Riding Hood, and Snow White. Those were all... Um, uh, those stories of those forests were all from the Black Forest in Germany. Kind of funny, huh? Okay. Um, and that was by the uh, German uh, brothers Jacob and Wilhelm uh, Grimm. Um, okay. Um, let's see what else. There were a lot of... Okay, and I did say... I apologize. Let me go back. When the wall started to come down, that is when the country reunited in the spring of 1990 when the wall came down and Germany became one nation, not split from um, West to East Germany, okay? Now, there have been some remarkable people that have come from Germany. It is not only um, an industrious uh, a country that has provided um, automobiles, chemicals, clothing, cameras, electrical equipment, um, but they have, um, the people that have come from Germany have been great scientists and great musicians. And you've learned about some of those musicians in the past, not only through me, but also through Miss Micah in our music class. And that that was um, uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, and he was actually called the father of modern music, and he wrote for Protestant churches. Then you have George Frederick, uh, Frederick Han Handel, and he um, uh, wrote music uh, famous for the Messiah, which was the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then we also have Ludwig Be uh, van Beethoven, which obviously we've all heard of Beethoven. And he wrote beautiful music even after he lost his hearing, okay? So that's down here, some famous musicians, Bach, Handel, and Beethoven. And then another interesting um, and wonderful, two wonderful scientists that have come from Germany. Uh, one was uh, uh, Johann Kepler, and he actually described how the planets orbited the sun, which is pretty um a pretty significant uh, scientific uh, discovery. And then we also have Albert Einstein. And Albert Einstein um, was described as the greatest scientific genius uh, the world has ever known. And he uh, made so many important discoveries in chemistry, uh, medicine, and in physics. And he was actually from Germany, but actually later became um, an American citizen in 1934. So there's a little bit about Germany. Um, I hope that you guys um, enjoyed learning or are enjoying learning about different countries, but you're going to want to take down these notes about Germany. So I'm going to go ahead and press pause. And if you have trouble reading them, let me know. Um, I'll make sure I snap a picture of it. That way, if you do need a text message of it, I can send it. So take down your notes now.